A blian of our a happy new year to you, Mr. Speaker, to everyone in this place and to everyone watching indeed. Uh, some positive news to start our first business questions for 2024. Recent data from the ONS and the Scottish Parliament Information Centre, the Scottish Parliament's Commons Library equivalent, shows that Scotland's gender pay gap is at a record low, and almost half that of the UK as a whole, with women's weekly full-time pay rising by over 10% over the last year. Now, while any gap is, of course, too high, I'm sure the leader would like to acknowledge the Scottish Government's Gender Pay Gap Action Plan, the first in the UK, which has undoubtedly helped with those welcome results. Now, it seems to me there are several steps the Leaders' Government could also take to help end the gender pay gap and advance equality right across these aisles. After repeatedly shelving the Employment Bill, they could finally act to make workplaces fairer, particularly in the current cost of living crisis, which we know impacts on women more. They could legislate for mandatory gender and ethnicity pay gap reporting. They could finally deliver compensation for WASPI women who have waited far too long to receive justice. And more broadly, they could tackle the gender pensions gap, with yearly incomes among pensioners on average over £7,000 a year lower for women than men. And while she considers her response to those suggestions, could she also respond to reports in the media her government blocked a minority ethnic woman from joining the board of Channel 4 without offering a reason? And I'm curious to hear what action she took in response to the recent comments by the Home Secretary and whether she'll condemn them now. They do nothing to dispel perceptions that a culture of misogyny in the UK government is what's hampering progress on these issues. As a former Minister for Equalities, Women and Equalities, these matters are, I am sure, close to her heart. So will she support a debate on them where perhaps some solutions might finally be agreed? No. Uh, well, can I also uh, wish the Honourable Lady a very happy new year? And I do welcome uh, some uh, good news uh, with regard to the gender pay gap in Scotland. And it's nice to see uh, the SNP actually championing uh, some good progress in Scotland um, uh, and giving credit where credit is due. Uh, with regard to the UK Government's uh, record, uh, we are making good progress. Um, since 2010, we have an additional two million more women uh, in work, and as the author uh, of the um, uh, um, uh, Women in Work Roadmap, which looks at every aspect of uh, a woman's life and, and tr tries to address the reasons why she is financially disadvantaged uh, when she leaves school right through her life, uh, right through uh, raising a family uh, and uh, uh, the pensions gap, um, I absolutely know that this government is committed to delivering on those uh, disparities. Um, she raises the issue of Channel 4. I, uh, uh, I do not know the answer to that, and uh, I can give her that today, but I shall certainly make sure the relevant department uh, has uh, heard that, and she will know uh, that the uh, she will know both what the Home Secretary has already said about the other matter that she uh, raises, uh, and I hope she will also know uh, that the Home Secretary is a very decent fellow uh, who loves his wife greatly. Um, and they've been through a lot uh, in recent years as a, as a couple, and the Honourable Lady uh, will also know that. Um, I would conclude, Mr Speaker, by just adding some uh, further good news uh, about uh, Scotland, uh, which I hope the Honourable Lady will welcome, and that is that I'm delighted that part of the Stone of Destiny has been now recovered from SNP HQ. And I'm sure this is a great relief uh, to all members. It is easy to lose things, I know, uh, like a couple of billion quid from your budget. Um, but I am sorry to hear that they have taken as much care of it as um, they have as the stewards of Scotland's public services. Happily, Mr Speaker, the Tupperware container that it was stored in has protected it <laughs> during its stay and the police raids on that premises. Um, and I would join with my Scottish colleagues in encouraging the SNP to find a more suitable home for it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah.